Hey guys, my Kentucky Range Time back with another episode of our 86 Blackout Ballistic Gel Block Test Series. And today we're doing a, a base load testing of the Barnes TSX 185 grain all copper bullet. And uh, so we'll be putting this, uh, <clears throat> several rounds of this in the ballistic gel. We'll be looking at slow motion video of the temporary wound cavity. We'll be looking at the permanent wound cavity, expansion, penetration, velocities, all that stuff. Uh, all the good stuff. That'll all be uh, consolidated into a spreadsheet and a ballistic range chart here at the end of the video. And uh, what else? I guess that's about it. Let's uh, let's turn around here, take a quick look at the loading, and then we'll head on out to the range, and then we'll be back in here in a few minutes. All right, guys. So here we go. Here's our, uh, our TSX bullet. And these do come 50 in a box, and they're about a dollar a piece. So I think these were... Um, maybe just under a dollar for this one. Uh, they, they run anywhere from about 45 to, to 55 or $60 for 50 all copper bullets, depending on the weight. Um, accurate 1680 powder and uh, Remington uh, large rifle primers, uh, large rifle magnum actually, and of course, Starline brass over here. Uh, this Starline brass has been, I've been running some converted brass, some Gorilla brass, and then Starline, and so far, uh, I really like this Starline brass the best. It's uh, the the neck tension on it is consistent. Uh, the converter brass, some of it had a really tight neck tension. The Gorilla had a really loose neck tension, but the Starline seems to be working really good with the adequate tension, uh, but but not too tight. So, all right, here's a quick look at this bullet and the loaded round. Uh, we are seated with the boat tail just down past the uh, where the where the neck stops, the bearing surface of the neck. And uh, all right, that's about it, guys. Let's head out to the range and get these things in gel block and then come back and talk about what we found. Hey guys, next up we've got a brand new bullet that we're gonna test. It's the 185 grain TSX from Barnes. And uh, we have previously tested the 185 grain TTSX. And I'm using the exact same powder charge on this one. Uh, that way we got some comparisons between the two bullets. And also coming back in, a, in another video, I'm also going to be testing the 185 grain Hornet DCX bullet. So stay tuned for this one. It'll be coming up. But uh, this time up, we're going to be testing the TSX and same base load with all three bullets. That way when we get done, we can crunch some numbers between the three of them and see how they, they compare with each other. So let's get started. First round velocity was 2187.6. Kinetic energy of 1965.5 foot pounds of energy. And let's go see what we did. All right, so since this was the, the initial testing with this bullet, uh, and we wanted to get a good look at the wound track, I've got a uh, one of my newer gel blocks up front here. Here's our entry point and uh, expansion pretty much within an inch. And we got a nice large uh, temporary wound, permanent wound cavity from about two down to about eight inches. And then lots of spiral rotation. We got some fragments coming off here. Uh, this one actually almost added, exited the block and uh, we come right on down through here, cross blocks, and looks like we exited at 26 inches. So no catch on this first shot. Uh, good looking performance though. So let's go back and see if we can catch a couple of these. All right, Barnes, 185 grain TSX bullet, shot number two. Velocity that time was 2163. 
for an average of 2175 and a standard deviation of 12.2 foot per second. Man, let's go check the catch. All right, so wound track is on this side this time. And uh, again, nice, nice large uh, permanent wound cavity through here. Actually, this one stays large a little bit farther down. Hits the second gel block. And let's go around here for the catch. At 31 and a quarter inches. And uh, looks like we opened up nicely and we do have a couple of shed petals. So that is actually very promising means that when our velocity slows down a little bit, we'll be retaining those pedals and, uh, and, and nice penetration. Okay, I've got... Shot number three, the 185 grain Barnes TSX bullet. Average velocity of 2171, 11.4 foot per second standard deviation and 1922.7 foot pounds of kinetic energy. And let's go check this one out. Again, this wound track looks really similar to the previous two wound tracks. Uh, we're tracking down through here in the second gel block total penetration of about 21 and a half inches and we are still setting some fragments with these guys uh, there's a couple of big chunks of fragments down here and it looks like that's off of a couple of different of these bullets and another large fragment here close to the top so Alright guys, so well, that's uh, that's a good look at this bullet. That's that's probably all we're going to shoot. I'm going to save this first piece of gel block for the Hornady bullets that are coming up next. And uh, we'll get these dug out and have some comments when we get back into the shop. Alright, so back in the shop, we got these things dug out. And uh, so here's a, here's a look at the unfired bullet. And here is a quick look at the two of the three shots that we took that we actually were able to recover. And uh, bring this around here and let you get a good look at them. One of the things that's that's pretty obvious is uh, this three R twist. I mean, you can you can see the rifling here, how quick that twist is. That's uh, one complete revolution in every three inches of barrel, and so in a sixteen inch barrel, you're getting five over five complete revolutions of this bullet as it travels down the barrel. And one of the things that speaks to that is these the pedals on this. So if you look at these, both of these bullets. Uh, these are splitting into four different pedals, one, two, three, and four. Three pedals have shed off of each one of these bullets um, when it was fired. So that, and you can tell from looking at the pedal that's left that these things are opening up and it's immediately spinning these pedals. I mean, this 3R twist is, is just devastating on these pedals. Um, I have some of these chunks picked up here that, that actually came out of the gel block after I after I remolded them. Let's zoom out here where we can see these. I'll throw a few of them over there. But you know, some of these are pretty good sized chunks, and uh, you know, it, it's we saw the uh, the Hornady's fracturing as well <clears throat> uh, with CX bullet, but you know, it, it's. Uh, it, it's a testament to this 3R twist. I mean, how much energy, uh, and this thing basically turns into a, a, a propeller as it's going through. And once these things open up and it, it just continues on down through that gel block and, and shears, shears these propellers off just like it would a real one. So, you know, it, it's still amazing. I've been shooting and testing these now for several months and, and still every time I see this, uh, this spiral that's pulled into this copper and, and don't get me wrong this copper is not soft it's not something that you can bend really easy uh, <clears throat> you probably cut your hand on it pretty easy though because they are pretty sharp but anyway just uh just great results out of this the, the temporary wound channels uh, from all three of these rounds was just massive uh, 
and, and that, that speaks to this bullet opening up quickly, uh, creating that, that big hydrostatic effect as it's moving through. And then, you know, right in the middle of that big wound channel, you know, we're losing these pedals. And, uh, and and then getting straight line penetration. So. so that's a good visual, the final results on this. And uh, let's go ahead and, and get into some of the details from the spreadsheet. Um, average velocity of 2172, that's a little bit slower than uh, than the 185 CX that we, we just did the other video on here recently. And actually, I believe that's also a little bit slower than the TTSX that we tested earlier. Uh, all three of those loads were using 32.4 grains of accurate 1680, uh, but the seeding depths were a little bit different. So uh, the uh, the ballistic tips actually were seeded just a little bit deeper, which probably increased the pressure, uh, yielding that, that slight pressure increase for both of those rounds. Uh, final expansion was, average was 0.64 inches. Uh, percentage of expansion was 89.35 inches. Uh, weight retention of 155 of 185 grains, so we lost about 30 grains of weight, uh, just a little bit more than what we had done with the CX bullet, and average penetration was 28.38 inches. So spreadsheet with uh, all the data and particulars will be posted up here, and it'll be like a 15 second run time, so you can either look at it or pause it, easily pause it, and, uh, and crunch those numbers down um, if you want. And I'm gonna do another consolidated spreadsheet and add as well. It's going to have the 185 TTSX averages, the 185 Hornady CX averages, and this 185 uh, TSX average. I'm going to have all those listed together in one chart so we can see how these compare. And like I said, the seating depth, the overall length was different on the two ballistic tip bullets. But other than that, this was the same barrel, the same gun, and the exact same powder charge for the base load for all three of these. And I did that intentionally so we could draw some conclusions here. Um, all right, guys, let's hear your comments. Uh, again, this TTSX bullet does what TTSX bullets do. I mean, they open up good um, <clears throat> as long as the velocity's there. And uh, we, do, we do see a bottom velocity limit, maybe a little bit. Um, expansion might stop a little bit sooner uh, at a, at a little higher velocity than what it does with the CX, but when we get expansion, we get really good expansion and um, and and the weight retention. So these these tend to hold their weight a little bit better across this whole line of bullets. Um, I don't know how many of the other videos you've watched, but uh, there's several other baseline test videos, and then uh, I got the expansion test videos as well. So if you're interested in this caliber, go back and there's an entire playlist dedicated to those, and you can just hit the play button and it'll just work its way right on through them. Uh, anyway, questions, let's hear them. Uh, leave those in the comments. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my webpage with my affiliate links. Uh, if you shop through these links, that'll help support the page. And that's about it, guys. Matt from Tucky Range Time. We'll catch you on the next one.